Hi, this is Patrick. I wanted to talk to you about an error that you may or may not see uh, with your Tomcat installation. Uh, since Tomcat is becoming more and more popular, uh, I figured it might be worth uh, covering this uh, briefly uh, in a short tutorial. So, one of the things when you s when your site is accessing or being accessed from another site that has an SSL cert certificate on it and it needs to communicate with that site you may start seeing if that cert was updated recently you may see start seeing an error message where uh, and, and I can check this right in the logs here where you're unable to find a valid cert path or request a target so this is kind of a frustrating error because it doesn't doesn't really tell you what's going on here at all uh, it just says that it's having a problem finding a path uh, to the target but really what it's saying is that there's a certific there's a cert uh, an SSL cert uh, that is not able to find and so it, sure it can't find the path to the target but really what it can't find is the SSL cert itself um, this could be because the cert itself was uh, changed or perhaps it uh, perhaps it even expired uh, I'm not sure you would get this message with an expired cert but maybe you would so uh, the way you would fix this normally is uh, you would immediately Google this kind of message right um, and so one of the one of the best articles that I was able to find was uh, this one here uh, and this one is uh, uh, this is all about <coughs> having that error. So if we just look down in here, uh, we can see that he's talking specifically about this particular error. Uh, it goes on to say that there's an SSL uh, handshake exception uh, and that's why it's not able to find it. So um, basically what you need to do is you need to run this command uh, on the server and so you need to create uh, a key store uh, called something like a brand new key store and that key store is the one that will let Tomcat uh, start communicating with it so it's very terse here so it's hard to tell from these instructions exactly um, how you would do that uh, but if we scroll down a little bit further we can see that he's actually included uh, the source code to um, to <coughs> a Java file called install cert.java so um, so let's break this down into a couple different steps. So the first thing we'd want to do is get this source code and create the file on the server, uh, compile that file, um, and then actually run it um, from the JRE directory. So uh, this is where it starts getting a little bit tricky because we're actually going to be doing the, comp the, comp the compiling of this program in the JDK, which is the Java development directory and then actually running it in the JRE which is the Java runtime environment. The reason we need to run it in the JRE is because that's what Tomcat actually uses. It doesn't use the JDK to run. So I wonder if that makes any sense to you. So in other words uh, the Java runtime environment runs the actual Tomcat installation and all the development activity compiling happens in the JDK directory and I'll show you that pretty quickly but first let's just grab this code right here uh, I'm just going to scroll all the way down I'm going to copy that so then I'll, what I'll do is I'll switch back over to the server here um, I'm going to go into the directory that we need to install this into so which is going to be uh, sysjdk now you may have two different versions of the JDK installed on your computer. You may have a 32-bit and a 64-bit. Um, this one only has the normal 32-bit. If you had both, what I had to do was end up putting uh, this file that we end up creating into both. Um, but let me let me get to that in just a second. So first we go into the JDK, and then we go into bin. So the JDK is the top level here. The JRE is within the JDK. Is that confusing? I'm not sure. But anyway, we'll go into the bin directory. We're going to create this file here. 
and we're going to call it uh, install cert dot java <clears throat> now it's important that you capitalize these letters here um, not sure it matters so much in the actual file name itself uh, but when you call the method uh, it becomes important so we're going to paste this in here and so this is all that code that we had just copied from that website we're going to save that we're going to close it we're going to open up our um, command line here uh, if you're on Windows 2008 make sure this is a administrative command line uh, switch into the proper directory so here we're going to just go into the bin directory and we can see that our install <coughs> we can see that our uh, text file that we just created is going to be in here install cert.java so to install this we just run java compiler which is the java c install like that. And now if everything goes correctly uh, you will get no errors or warning messages. So I'm guessing it installed correctly. So now if we were to go back to this directory we can see that it created two different files. So these are the two files that you would need to make sure that exist within this directory in order for this next step to work correctly. So the next step if I do a refresh on this, we can also see that we created a class file here. Um, this class file is the one that we're actually going to be calling right here. So to execute the next step, we're going to be calling Java, uh, all lowercase, right? Don't put, don't go uppercase here. Install cert. Now here, this is where you type in the URL for the cert that you're uh, requesting. Um, I'm going to block this out for security reasons and then I'll resume the video just afterwards now what you can see is after I've run that uh, command and uh, that command is java install cert and then the name of the URL that you're trying to access this one came back with three different certs that are available you got one at number two, number number one, number two, and number three. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press the number one key here, and uh, I'm going to well I have to do it without the notepad in front of the recording, uh, and then it'll import that particular cert. And then what I'll end up doing is doing it for number one, number two, and number three. I'm not sure uh, which one it needs. The first one I believe is the root authority. But uh, in this case, I'm just going to do all three just to make sure. Now, what you can see has happened is all th I've imported all three of them uh, just by running this program three times. The last time is here. You can see that things were successful. It said added certificate using the, the key store JSSC CA search. So basically, what this is is, is a file. Uh, that um, it contains the SSL certs as well as the root authority and I believe it's the intermediate authority uh, file within it. Uh, I'm not going to show this uh, because I'm just blocking it out right here. So if we do a refresh here, now we should be able to see that new file that we just created. And here it is, JSSECA certs. Uh, and this is the file we need to copy this guy uh, into the JRE see right now we're in the JDK so we're actually in the Java development environment uh, we're going to copy that into the JRE folder uh, the JRE is the one uh, oh I'm sorry JRE and then we're going to put it into the lib directory and then security this is where all the security uh, certificates live. I'm going to paste that in there and uh, there it is. So that's pretty much all you need to do. Uh, at this point you would re re restart Tomcat um, and then test it out to see if it worked. Um, if you're able to get this far 
uh, then I think you're in pretty good shape, at least in my experience. Now, what I ran, one thing that I ran into was getting an error message. Uh, one of the error messages I was getting was could able to, unable to find class file, and so I made a mistake. I didn't realize that two files were created when you compiled, and so I uh, uh, I had only copied the one class file into the JRE directory, thinking mistakenly that I would need to execute it directly from the JRE directory. Uh, this wasn't the case because I could create the file here. Uh, and then just copy it over. I did not realize that. So anyway, uh, some good information and uh, hope this helps someone in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.